So March was a busy month for the Easy Brand with you know the slides, some farm runners, and Easy Desert Book, for example. But I managed to cut two of the hype releases, which from what I'm hearing were quite limited. And today's sneaker is fire. It's so good, in fact, it's already gone to foot. I can't wait to get a review out for the channel. So let's get to it. Hey, what's going on? Looks like back on my video. And today I'm checking out the Yeezy 350 V2 Oreo. Thanks for checking out video if you're new to this channel and you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, not just Yeezys but also Jordan brand, Nike, Adidas generally, etc. Please do consider subscribing and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. Now today I'm checking out one of the, in my opinion, hype releases for March because it's not only a Yeezy 350 but it's an OG colorway and that is the Yeezy 350 V2 Oreo. So a bit of background to this release. This dropped on March the 12th uh, on the confirmed app, as well as other retailers, but I managed to get a W um, in my size 13.5 US 14 on the confirmed app, and really have to get it in hand. From what I can tell, it was quite a limited release in terms of stock, uh, and you know, it's an OG colorway, so really have to get it in hand and add it to the collection. I do have several Yeezy 350s on display here and a few more in the vault uh, in, in my garage. So this is just another one for the collection and again really happy to have it. So this sneaker originally dropped in 2016 just after the Black Friday pair and it used to be, it was actually called the Black White. Um, it dropped just before the end of 2016. So six years later Yeezy is bringing that sneaker back to market. So for me, as a Yeezy 350 V2 collector, it's definitely one that I'm really happy to have in the collection. You have the OG colorway in your collection, even though you don't have it from 2016. Now, I wasn't collecting Yeezys back in 2016. So for me to have a chance to actually cop it in 22, that's definitely a W for me. And 2022 seems to be the year of retro restocks because there are rumors that the Turtle Dove, which originally dropped in 2015, is gonna be getting a restock this year. But I guess we'll wait and see for that. But anyway, let's go back to the day sneaker and take a look at it. So starting with the box, you've got your standard Yeezy 350 box. If you ever had a pair of 350s, this will be quite familiar. So you have your 350 text on the top, you have your boost on the side, and then you have your Easy Boost 350 made by Adidas on this side. Size tag reads Easy Boost 350 V2 and the colorway is C Black, C White, C Black and it's a UK 13.5 US 14. So it's a slide box. It's a standard tissue paper. And here we have the sneaker. So that's the Easy 350 V2 Oreo. Now the name Oreo comes in the chocolate biscuit of the same name because it's got that similar kind of style. So you've got your black and then obviously you've got your cream strip here. Officially it's called the black white colorway, but more commonly it's known as the Oreo. So anyway, starting on the outsole. So you may see that obviously it's has a bit of dirt on it. So I have already ones on foot and because I wanted to just rock this with a fit and I thought it was fire. So standard boost outsole. So you've got boost on the bottom right here. And then you've got Adidas at the top right here and obviously then you've got your different tread pattern you will see you've got your boost element right here turn to the side that boost midsole continues so it's obviously a trademark of Yeezy 350s it goes all the way around both sides then you come onto the upper so it's a prominent upper and you've got obviously black here and then you've got a slightly different texture on this side as you can see uh, and then obviously then you've got the trademark uh, white strip 
in the kind of Oreo going all the way down the middle and obviously then you've got SPLY3350 right here as you can see if we come to the back you've then got obviously where the stitching comes together and then if you turn to the medial side you can see it kind of fade, fades out into like these little speckles right here these speckles can see all along the upper on the medial side as you can see and then obviously there's some elements there at the bottom right there so because it's an OG sneaker it does have the full laces so it's not an it's not a infinity lacing system so obviously Yeezys have just they don't have holes cut into the upper as you can see where the laces go through there's no real specific eyelets as such um, so it's just holes that go through and then obviously as you come to the top you've then got two uh, holes right here which is obviously a very specific to Yeezys inside the sneaker obviously it's a sock like upper so effectively your foot just goes in and then obviously you lace it on top and that's pretty much it. Let's look on the inside. On the back, you've got the three stripes coming down on the heel, and then on the inside, you've then just got this element on top of the back of the tongue, which is kind of these these rubber rubber strips right here. So again, to give you additional comfort. One other addition is obviously on the insole, you've got that Adidas Treffle logo and then Yeezy uh, logo right there in that uh, all white slash all euro colorway. So that's pretty much the sneaker. This is fire, really happy to have this in the collection and obviously, hopefully we'll get more OG colorways. So what do you think of the sneaker? Did you manage to cop? Or did you pass? Or did you just take an L? Is it something you might consider paying for on resale? So this retail for 180 pounds and the last sale was 240, so you've got about 60 pound difference. So not too bad. And I think it's definitely something you might want to add to the collection. In terms of sizing, I always go half size up on Yeezys. So in Adidas, I'm mean like, like a UK 13, but in Yeezys, I always go up half a size. And that stays true for the 350. Um, it fits fine. Obviously, it's got a wide toe box, as you can see. I have quite a wide foot. But yeah, for me, half size up what I recommend. And obviously, if you already have a 350, then just go with that size. So yeah, stay tuned for the on foot coming up shortly. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments on that. So thanks for checking out the video. If it's the kind of content you want to see, you know, not just Yeezys, but also Jordan Brand, Nike, Adidas, etc. Please consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.